Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 2 of my Scarbrand campaign, where dwarves are attacking us, short, hairy people, launching themselves at me. Ugh, repulsive. So, we are going to kick the ever-living shit out of them. Now, I know for a fact you've probably got that horrible slow rune, haven't you? Where is it? Where is it? There we are. There we are. Less less speed, right. So basically what I don't want is to move Scarbrand into range and then for them to like hit him with the slow and then hit him with all the all the crossbows. Because that's exactly what they will do, and frankly, it's exactly what I would do. So we'll let them use it on Eric instead, because to be honest, if Eric gets a bajillion crossbow bolts lodged, lodged in his tiny little bald skull, I don't actually give a flying fuck. Don't care what happens to him. So that's fine. So we're just going to we're just gonna wade in here. Take out Thoric. You can see Scarbrand taking quite a lot of fire there, but he should be fine. We just need to move in and knock out all those missile units. Or at least tie them up. If they're busy fending off being murdered, then they're not shooting me. With that said, Thoric is proving to be a real pain in the ass. He is not going down. He's not taking any fucking damage. Now, he does have 160 armor, which is quite a lot. Um, but he's only got 50 melee defense compared to Scarbrand's 86 melee attack. Not to mention that Scarbrand has uh, 500 armor piercing, so he should be doing some damage, but instead he's doing nothing. And I don't know how, like, the, the hero matchups work in in Total War Warhammer, but there's there's a lot of time when I, I look at what, what, you know, I look at a hero that should win, and he seems to just fail to hit endlessly. Like, just never manages to hit the fuckers. And to, it's just very weird. Like, you can see that Thoric has taken a minute amount of damage. Look at this. It's just, it's just tickling him. So it's taking ages. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We've got this locked down. We've got their missile units are being carved to pieces, which is great. That's what we wanted. We just need to make sure that none of our blood letters crumble. Uh, there's a little bit of danger over here as the Longbeards weirdly doing incredibly well against them. I don't know why they're doing quite so well, but we'll bring the Furies down to help. I mean, based on the stat, I mean, okay, 40 minutes, well, okay, I guess kind of Longbeards would do fairly well. I guess. Doesn't matter. They're fine. As long as they don't get sad, we're okay. Scarbrands and Zack trying to finish off Thoric, who's proving to be an absolute pain in the... Look at this guy. Look at him. He's just taking no damage. Finally, we're sort of breaking through a little bit. Uh, some of the Quarrelers have managed to rally. It's a problem. We need to deal with those. Just mop them up. We have taken quite a bit of damage here. Some of our units looking a little bit ropey. But we have the upper hand. This is basically just a case of hunting down the survivors and murdering them. Thoric despite proving to be a tanky little shit, is going down. Look, we've only, look, he's only got 929 damage dealt as gold compared to this guy's 1,500. What the fuck happened there? It's just weird. I feel like Thoric should have gone down pretty easily, but he proved to be kind of a pain in the ass. Never mind. He ain't getting away. And his army has been absolutely annihilated. I mean, that's one of the things about dwarves. They may not run away. But that does mean you don't have, you know, large armies to deal with afterwards. They tend to be pretty, pretty dead. Not to mention that they can't run away very quickly anyway. Thoric finally goes down onto being triple teamed. But still, that worked. And with Thoric down, the dwarves finally realise the day is lost. Well, considering what we're up against, only losing one unit is is pretty legit. And uh, that's a buttload of skulls. Lovely. I'd be silly not to take the skulls, wouldn't I? There is another army there, though.
Lord. Yes. We have brokered an alliance with your brothers. Okay. They lie in wait as the enemy approach the brazen altar. Fine. All it requires is your attendance. Oh, I'll get oh, look. I'm I'm busy at the moment. To be honest, um, I mean, I would like slaughter and carnage. With that said, so I mean, that's something we probably want to do sooner rather than later. But first, I've got a literal other Your stack boss. of of lads there to deal with. Mind you, we actually didn't... We actually healed up quite nicely. Um, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's get... Ooh. Thick skin. I mean, I, th I feel like missile resistance is probably... Exactly. That was what I was thinking. Do I want a blood throne? What does a blood throne do? Exactly. Totem of endless bloodletting. Okay. Gore feasts, fine. Um, all right, I'll keep you. I'm going to give you thick skin as well because fighting dwarves, they will of course have but loads of missile attack. Yay! A thick skin for you and a deadly blade. Oh, I'm a piercing weapon damage for the Lord's army. Not bad. All right, let's kill you. I mean, it's not massively problematic. I could, I could just go for it. I could just go for it. And the thing is, I don't actually have much in the way of additional resources. So, other than healing up a little bit, you do have forty-three. I mean, okay. You do have 43 weapon strength and 5 bonus plus infantry. So, I mean, you'd be pretty good at taking out... How much are you? 150. Okay. Um, okay, let's get three of you. Oh, the top knots are dead. Makes my life a little bit easier. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, let's go with Maim. Go with that for a minute, then we'll we'll come back. I am a rune lord. Well, then, I mean, basically, if we can just if we can just if we can just lock down those crossbows, we're gonna be fucked. That's basically the plan. Failure in battle, mm, nah. Hungriest spawn, maybe. Hounds of war, maybe. Do we have anything? What's war leader? Recruit rank, meh. Skull throwing, cost reduction. Maybe water income from all buildings. Maybe income from sacking settlements. Mm, I'm gonna get income from all buildings. That is that is the key, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely right. With any luck, we should be able to heal that up, and then we can go and kill that other army. Although, if we could potentially farm, if we could farm that effects, because Thorgrim does have a nice. Nice defeat trait, doesn't he? So maybe we need to get like another boy in here, like another lad. So we can get that trait on him. Because that extra armor piercing weapon damage for the entire army is is really quite nice. So maybe if we get one of you. Do we want another bad hat? Doesn't really matter. I'm I'm gonna get Thrash Thrash Blood, Taker of Skulls. I'm going to call him Ted. Ted, Taker of Skulls. It's just as good. Okay, we're going to meander in this general direction. I'm going to come at you, bro. We'll get Ted over here ASAP. We can... We can win... Wait, what? Progress okay unless a battle is fought this turn. Well, I mean, I'd like to fight a battle this turn. I'm just not in range. That's my issue. What do we have here? Is this actually useful? Income from all burning... I mean, 30 skulls a turn isn't isn't bad, um, but it's probably not... Probably not what we want right this instant. 
could get some Chaos Furies. Again, the fa I mean, fast-moving units lock down those crossbows. If we can just lock them down, they're basically fucking useless. There is there is a school of thought that missile weapons are the, the best. Like, missile units are the best. But answer me this. How are you going to shoot that crossbow if I've ripped both your arms off? Me bucko. Now, I could hang back here, but if I hang back, my concern. Oh, probably that's a, that's a lot of. It's going to be a lot of. A lot of guys to kill, isn't it? Um. If we had some siege towers, I'd feel better about that. It's just a lot of. A lot of guys to try and lock down. Let's get you over here. I can't really recruit anyone because. Well, what does this button do? Uh, this is a. Uh, okay. Army ability, blood host, plus two units on creation, campaign movement range after raving. Okay, I, hadn't, I didn't, didn't realize that button was there. How long does it, is it last for five turns? Send some skulls to to old Daddy Corn. Here's some here's some skulls for you. Enjoy. Interesting. You know what? I genuinely thought he would probably come out and attack me, but he didn't. He's just just chilling. Which I guess is fine. If I get a couple of siege towers in there. Like, give it another turn for another siege tower, and then I reckon we can we can probably take him. Let's get you in here to join in. What does this do? Income for more buildings. I mean, it it's something. It is something. Look at our boy. Look at these. Look at these lovely, lovely chevroned boys. I want to get rid of those chaos warriors. They're too slow. They take ages to get anywhere. That's the problem with them. By the time all of the blood letters are there hacking people's skulls off, the Chaos Warriors are just catching up. You're like, come on, guys. I know you're, I know you're wearing heavy armor, and I know you are emotionally more stable. But I think there's something to be said for, you know, just, just, fucking, just fucking going for it. Um, can we... Can I do this, then? Why are they... Um, okay, I probably just made things worse for myself, but oh well, I guess it's more skulls to kill? I just remember what those armies are for. They're so you, they're basically so you can kill things, aren't they? They're basically, you can spawn armies and then you can kill them, and then you can, that's what they're there for. So, they're not supposed to help you, they're supposed to, yeah. So, I, I recognise that now. But it has made things slightly more difficult for me, being that I've just spawned some reinforcements for the already large defense of garrison. So, well done, me? I mean, you, you know, th this is the real hard mode. That's right. You look at a battle and go, that's going to be a tough battle. You know what it needs? More enemy reinforcements. And then you just spawn them in. So that, yeah, so that's because so I'm hardcore. Don't get more hardcore than this. Yeah! Good. <laughs> I don't quite know how this is working, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so the dwarves are coming in as reinforcements. I was a little bit worried they may just, like, all deploy at the same time, but uh, they're not. That's good. Um, so we just need to kill off this, this army that we spawned. And once we've killed them all, um, we can then deal with all the dwarves. 
No problem. It's actually very hard when demons are facing demons to know who the fuck is on what side. Um, but fortunately, I think we're winning. So well done us. The dwarves have arrived in force. Uh, there, there's quite a lot of dwarves. Their demon allies have been exterminated. This must be very confusing for the dwarves. The dwarves are like, okay, we, the, 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 there's allies outside. We need to rush to help them. Who are they? I, th I think they're demon. I think the demons called more demons, but to kill. And so we're going to go and help the, the demons. I, no, I don't understand what's going on either. It's like coming in halfway to the Hollyoaks omnibus on a Sunday. Do they still have... Is Hollyoaks still a thing? I don't know. I, I'm not... Probably not, actually. But, you know, back when I was growing up, Hollyoaks omnibus on a Sunday. You come in halfway, you wouldn't know, you know, who's, who's kissing who now? Who knows? Well, looks like dwarves are kissing demons or something. I mean, it's the most confusing raid is what's going on doesn't matter we're going to now kill all the dwarves we killed all the demons now we're going to kill the dwarves that was the amuse bouche and this is the appetizer or is it the main course i mean the nice thing is that because we're in heavily heavily a heavily forested area their quarrelers are going to be significantly less effective which is going to make our life a little bit easier isn't it so that's good no one knows what the fuck is going on in these trees no problem. So we got some some doggos and the Chaos Furies. They're going to be flanking around behind. Uh, we need to knock out the quarrelers if we can. There's a thin green line of our units. We've also got our Marauder Horsemen of Corn. I some I got those in because I'd like they'd probably be quite good at like hunting down dwarves and shit, wouldn't they? Like taking out the quarrelers. Of course, we have the summon as well, which is proving to be very very useful. So we can summon in quarrelers directly on some summoning quarrelers, summoning demons directly on top of the quarrelers, and then. Uh, Rip them limb from limb. Meanwhile, Zack is now doing wheelies. Like he's in Sainsbury's car park at 2 a.m. Lovely stuff. Looks like we have the upper hand. I mean, they are mostly just dwarf warriors, and dwarf warriors aren't really going to be able to fend off love letters. The love letters are taking a little bit of damage. But overall, I think we have the upper hand here. The horsemen doing a fairly good job, actually, taking out those dwarf warriors. Mopping up some quarrelers on the flank as well, which is pretty good. Wherever Scarbrand is, of course, we're winning. He's just trying to kill off the enemy general, though. That's it. Kick him in the heads. Holy shit. I mean, that guy's going down. He's no Thoric, is he? That's it. Punt him. Punt him. Get a three-pointer. Is that sports ball? Oof. Kicked him right into a tree. Fantastic stuff. Okay. Well, the dwarf general is dead. And his little army is now surrounded and being hacked to pieces. There's probably not going to be much left to fend off our attack on the city. So this does kind of make life, you know, if, if anything, maybe this is exactly how I planned it, to draw the enemy garrison out into a field battle so I don't have to fight a siege battle. Ooh, yeah, that's the, that was exactly what I planned. Oh, fucking genius. Good job, me. Well, even though I decided to make life harder for myself, I guess that worked out. So, good job, me. Kind of feel like replenishment's probably probably a good shout. Did we? Did we keep? We did keep. Okay, so bike. Okay. Not. <laughs> Uh, fine, whatever. Um, Rage Incarnate? Yes. Yes, let's do that. Drinker of Blood. 
Gives him Gore Feast, so double regeneration. Sounds pretty good. Uh, Vanguard deployment for Scarbrand. I mean, Scarbrand is a one-man army. What's Wrathful Reaper do? Uh, okay, that's fine. Quite like that. Anarchy of... Ma okay, I'm going to go with Drinker of Blood, because, going to be honest, um, having that on top of his heel... Pretty legit. Let's make you hard to hit, eh? Amy Bucko. The hell is the blood hunt? Could be fun. Uh, good tick. Job done. Nice work, everyone. E increase mobility. Absolutely. Okay, Scarbrand. You're going to get. What have you got? Armor of Silver Steel. Armor of Fortune is better. You've got the Dawnstone. That's fine. You've got all this. Don't really need that. Fine. Job, job, job. Done. Good. Why can't I attack this? I don't know. I guess because there was that weird thing where I kind of attacked it, but not sort of at the same time. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, this does generate a little bit of income, doesn't it? So, I mean, that's good. If we get this, we could get more, more cultists. More chaos cultists? Sure, why... Yeah, why not? Why... What do you think all of Korn's cults like start in gyms? They probably do, don't they? It starts off with protein powder. Fucking slippery slope, innit? Next thing you know, you're cutting people's heads off. Hello. Hmm. Malagor, what are you doing? This, oh, not those guys. Fucking fuck those guys. Right, can I can I attack it now? Yes. Cool. Do I... I could sack this. I could just occupy it. It will cost skulls, but it is a capital, so... So I'll take it. We've got some obsidian. Meh. More control. Meh. Income from... I mean, it's only going to take one turn. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, Kalida's here as well. Am I going to start fighting Kalida too? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess probably we're going to end up fighting Kalida. I know you do, buddy. I know you do. You're very, very unmultifaceted, aren't you? Never mind. Right, I guess let's just start burning shit. It's kind of kind of our brand, isn't it? God, a lot of these techs are complete shit, isn't it? Like, income from sacking settlements. I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, weapon when fighting Slaneshi factions... Right. I mean, there's not actually anywhere any near us. Bonus versus large is fine. Attrition suffered from bloodthirst attrition. I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, more speed and armor weapon. I mean, I'm not, I don't have any, but I might have some at some point. So let's go with that. Sound good? Sound good with everyone? Fantastic. Let's go with that then. Well, I don't like you guys. Now, what? Granite Massif. Are you at war? Hang on. Are you at war with the dwarves as well? Holy shit, you are. Have you been... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did the dwarves attack me and then... Right, okay. I, I genuinely don't understand what their fucking problem was, to be honest. What is their fucking problem? Did we just go for it? To be honest, I don't like you. I'm just... Might kill you? Shall I kill you? I have been killing a lot of Savage Orcs recently. I could kill you too. Do you want me to kill you too? I'm going to kill you too. Fuck it. Fuck it. No, Thorax probably dead. Yep, declaring war. Skulls for the Skull Throne, all that bollocks. Oh, don't run away, you bloody cowards. Kalida, you're in the way, love. I'm going to have to kill you too now. No. Sorry, Kleda, but you're in the fucking way. Oh, and apparently the orcs are going to come in to help? I really do like making life difficult for my, for me at the moment. It's just, I just can't help myself. Apparently. <sighs> okay. I 
think I've ever seen this map before. This might be a new one for me. Okay, we're waiting for the Savage Orcs to arrive because apparently I don't like making things easy for myself. I'm like, yeah, let's just take on everyone at the same time. Um, we've, we've taken out the enemy catapult so they can't bombard us while we're waiting for the Savage Orcs. So we're turning up in about 10 seconds. And God, I really wish I had some spells here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's it. That's it. All blob up. Oh, I'd love to drop a big fucking vortex directly on top of you. Anywho. Here come the Savage Orcs. So we'll knock them out first. Protect our flank. And then we can go and kill Kalida. Obviously, we haven't had enough of dealing with the naked green people. Well, we should have the upper hand here. Finish them off as quickly as possible so we can... I mean, if Kalida had any sense, she'd be moving in to sort of, like, reinforce the orcs. But, you know, she doesn't, so... Works for me. So far, so good. Guys, this episode's been a lot of tough battles, hasn't it? Just heavy hit after heavy hit. Completely abandoned my settlements. I'm like, yeah, I don't need them. To hell with that. Let's go on a little murder journey. Go find ourselves. Well, looks like the Savage Orcs have been routed. And because we already tried to attack them once and they ran away, that was their second battle, which means they're all dead. So, yay me. Then we just need to deal with Kalida. You're just really asking for it, aren't you? Just there flaunting your blobbiness. Look at this. Look at this. The absolute filth. Oh. All right, stop it. You're going to make me so erect. Come on. Oh, God, I wish I had, like, a big sword of corn. I could drop right in the centre there. Just be like, yeah... Anywho, Ted, Taker of Skulls, has arrived to come and help us. So, thanks, Ted. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at this. 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 You can... Oh, you can... Mm. Oh, you bastards. What I want is an entire flight of Lords of Change. So I can just... Blat them with the fucking bullet hell. I think that's probably one of the most fun stacks you can have in Total War is is the bullet hell Lords of Change. Scarbrand has does have a little fireball, which is rather I mean it 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 did it did do something. It was something. So there we go. Now Scarbrand's gonna be careful here because they do have quite a few archers, and I feel like if they concentrated fire, they could possibly do do some damage. Um, which is why we're moving the Chaos Warriors of Corn in first, because they've got heavy armor and shields, and also I don't care about them. There goes Zach. I don't really know whether that thing is a good thing. The whole the whole Vesper of Doom. The moped of destruction. The moped of murder. That's a better one. In come the blood letters. Now, Skellington's on blood letters is really a battle that's only going to go one way. And that's our way. Plus, of course, because, I mean, look at our boys. We've got, like, 46 melee attack. Plus, of course, we've got the five, no, nine bonus first infantry. So that makes our melee attack more than 50. And the weapon strength um, over 40. Which means that we're going to be absolutely fucking murdering all of these little bony boys. Not an issue. Meanwhile, our cavalry come around the flank to knock out the enemy archers. The only units that really could do any damage to us. Meanwhile, Scarbrand is again having... Re Kalida kind of like kicked the shit out of him and I don't quite know how. Cleader's now, like, buggered off. I mean, Scarbrand's his stats are way better than Kalida's. I don't know how Kalida was winning. I mean, it might just be blind luck, but... 
feels it feels weird that you know Scarbrand's got so much more weapon strength, melee attack. Okay, not as much melee defense, but still. I don't think that should, you know, feel like Scarbrand should be easily able to to dominate Kalida there, but is is not proving to be true. Cavalry having a little bit of trouble there, but that's fine. At least they're not going to get sad and disintegrate. So that's fine. And Scarbrand, Kalida continue to go at it. I think Scarbrand's managed to heal up there. We're actually going to bring in uh, Eric to come and help as well. And uh, together we should be able... Oh, there's, uh, there's Ted coming as well to help out. And I think all three of them wailing on Kalida is going to finally tip the scales in our favour. And the rest of the enemy army is going to start to crumble away. Um, sure. I don't, I don't really want diplomatic relations with the vampire counts, but I guess not having to kill everyone is is some some small benefit. Right. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Restless Fury? Yeah, let's go with Restless Fury. What does Locust in? Right, so that's more campaign, movement range after winning a battle, which is quite nice. Three units on creation. That's also pretty good. Uh, control is useless. Wrathful Reaper is fine. Uh, I'm going to go with Maim, I think. Let's go with Maim. And then we're going to go with Locust. Of right, so that's more spell resistance. Meh. This one is more charge bonus, weapon damage, useful. This one is more melee attack. Okay, um, I feel like maybe Locus of Fury. Like, all our melee attack is always going to be very high, so more weapon strength. Get that charge bonus in there as well. Let's go with you. We'll go with Foe Seeker. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on a juggernaut because I just think that's gonna be better. Have a dragon bane gem. Yeah, sure. So I don't really want to go down here. I'm assuming there's probably an army in attendance. Military presence, yes. Okay. So I guess we better come down here and find these fuckers. Oh, we're taking attrition now. Fuck. Can we can we go into encampment without any Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right, we can kill him. The Bone Eaters can do some damage. I'm tempted to send Ted after us as well. He was there mostly to learn things, and he is learning things, but there's also a high, you know, needing to keep him alive. Pretty, pretty high up the requirements. Uh, sure. I don't... I don't really know what our money building is. Do we have a... I don't think we have a money building, do we? Six... I mean, I guess this is the money building because it does increase income generated. So that does kind of make sense. Uh, I mean, this is fine. More control is, I guess, fine. I mean, they're kind of happy anyway, so... Um. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that. We'll keep that for a minute. I mean, I guess getting as many settlements as provinces as po possible, because that'll increase our weapon strength across the board, won't it? Which is pretty, pretty natty. Get replenishment, foe seeker, bosh, bosh. That looks pretty good. So we are losing money, but we're getting a lot from just, you know, murdering people. So that's good. You get iron hides. Or brutalized visage. Um, you know what I'm gonna say? Less enemy leadership, Zach. Works for me. Hello. Oh, goodness me, there's a lot of you in there. 
Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we just go in. Kill them all. Another Pyrrhic victory. Yes, there's a lot of Skellingtons. There. I mean, I don't think it's going to be particularly difficult. Plus, Casket Souls. Tell you what, if we, if we whap them on... Yeah, let's do that. If you're coming as reinforcements, that means you guys are going to be by yourself. That's not necessarily ideal for you. And then we just need to kill the enemy reinforcements, who will be coming in probably from our flank. I mean, this looks fairly, fairly easy, to be honest. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.